Welcome to Thomas and Friends Adventures! Italy has three active volcanoes, Etna, Vesuvius, and Strong. Lorenzo was telling me how he got there when rocks started falling on the ground, blocking the entrance. We had to get out quickly before the mines collapsed. So we pushed on through the tunnels to find a way out. We couldn't stop in time to avoid crashing through the wooden barrier. We found ourselves hanging from a cliff over the sea. Stefano was more than surprised. Mamma mia, he said. What's going on here? We were so lucky. Stefano used his crane to rescue us. You should have seen the look on his face when he saw Lorenzo. The last engine was lost anymore. Two world famous foods come from Italy pizza and The lost engine was always on the lookout for adventure, but one day he simply vanished and nobody ever saw him again. Wow, the lost engine! I would love to meet him! Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Splendid! Ah! Marvelous! Ah! Thomas was so caught up in his story, he took a wrong turn. He ended up in an old abandoned mine. I called out for help. To my surprise, I heard a voice repeating, help, help. <gasps> it had to be the lost engine. I had found him. When Gina came to rescue me, she made me realize it was just my own echo. I felt so silly. I've visited many countries and seen lots of amazing places. When I first arrived in Italy, I felt as if I had to know everything about its rich history. I pretended to be an expert in archaeology, but I soon learned that I didn't know everything. I even got myself into a dangerous situation. It's okay not to know everything when you're somewhere new. The best way to learn is simply to ask questions. Ciao means both hello and goodbye in Italian. Now, you try saying it. Ciao! I 
I was upset by the teasing. It made me feel as if I knew nothing. I know a lot about the world. I visited the Taj Mahal and the Great Wall of China. I had to show Gina that I was an expert myself. Oh, wow! Amazing job! Well done! The money that tourists throw into the Trevi Fountain in Rome is collected each day and donated to charity. Lorenzo and I raced all the way back. He even taught me how to sing Italian opera. One, go! We can do this! Lorenzo was telling me how he got there when rocks started falling on the ground, blocking the entrance. We had to get out quickly before the mines collapsed. So we pushed on through the tunnels to find a way out. We couldn't stop in time to avoid crashing through the wooden barrier. We found ourselves hanging from a cliff over the Stefano was more than surprised. Mamma mia, he said. What's going on here? We were so lucky. Stefano used his crane to rescue us. You should have seen the look on his face when he saw Lorenzo. The last engine wasn't lost anymore. 